Hello everyone and welcome back for another Loot Crate uh, Warehouse Junk Clear Out Special Edition. Um, I would suggest that you check out the previous one just before this video and you can hear my extended rant as it were about um, the state that Loot Crate is in at the moment uh, and, and the rubbish that I'm trying to pull in place of the Firefly Crates. And they also got a second one as I said here and we're going to take a look at that now. So let's carefully pop this lid open. I'll tell you what, if I just slide that underneath my microphone and hopefully that's not causing interference. Uh, oh, it might be, oh, never mind. Uh, let's see what's in this crate here. We'll start off with the t-shirt. So let's open that. It says Attack on Titan Season 2. That's something I've never seen as well. Um, let's just shake that out there. Um, so it's like the other one, uh, I do quite like the artwork on it, it is quite nice, uh, the artwork. I don't know anything about the show, um, it does sound familiar, but as I say, I've never, never seen it. But uh, yeah, it's quite a nice t-shirt. Um, but as I said before with the previous one, this is not going to be worth $100. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just slide that out of the way, just so we have a little bit of room to play here. Ah, there we go, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, right, next item. Uh, this is clearly a duplicate of what we opened in the previous film. Uh, in fact, I've still got it on the floor somewhere here. There we go. Uh, that's what it is from the previous one. So this one is still sealed. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will... Um, I'm not sure when, but I'll come up with some kind of a giveaway and we'll, 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 we'll do some sort of like daft competition of some sort. Um, and we'll post this to some lucky winner somewhere in the globe. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments what sort of competition we should do, and I'll figure out some way of getting uh, getting rid of it. <laughs> so anyway, put that down. Uh, the next item looks like some kind of anime thing. Uh, I know that Lucre do another like, anime series sort of thing of crates. Uh, what is it going to be? Oh, a pint glass. Right, let's carefully crack that open. Uh, I don't really follow any of the anime stuff, so I don't really know what uh, this pertains to. Um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that name on the bottom. Uh, oh, there's no, nothing else on there. So it's just uh, just the headshot with uh, with the name. So let's just uh, rotate that around. So there we go. I'm going to carefully place this on the floor on the other side of the room. <laughs> so what else have we got in here? Uh, February 2017 pin, uh, more adds to the proof that these two crates are uh, just a stock clear out of the stuff that they couldn't sell or give away. Uh, what's our next pin? Oh, September 2016, uh, Battlegrounds. So there we go there, it is quite a nice bit of artwork on there. They do do some quite nice artwork on the pins, that has to be said for Loot Crate. Even though the quality of the items never actually matches what they claim. Because, as I said, there's no way that these crates are worth a hundred dollars. Even combined, they're not worth a hundred dollars. Uh, we have here the same hat as last time as well. So I, I don't know what this is supposed to be themed for. I have no idea what's with these eyes. Um, there is no indication whatsoever on it. Uh, I mean, I did look at the at the label last time. It just says Luke Gaming uh, Double Fine. I just got the copyright there for that there. And Made in China. But no idea what this is supposed to be. There's not like a, a tag on it that says what franchise it's from. So I've got absolutely no idea. But we'll maybe do a giveaway with that as well. So let's pop that down. Um, we have some uh, Gremlin socks. I think there's not been an anniversary of Gremlins at the minute. Uh, we did watch them a few weeks ago because uh, they were on over Christmas. Um, but yeah, Gremlin socks. Um, yeah, we'll worth a couple of quid again. Uh, the final item, a mysterious white box with no labels as such. Oh, hang on, no, a Fallout USB. Well, <laughs> I certainly won't be plugging this in. Because <laughs> what you probably find is with these custom USB hubs and custom USB drives, is that they just tend to be completely useless and broken. Uh, let's have a look and see what it is. Uh, let's get rid of the box. doesn't want to come out. So what dropped on the floor was the cable. Um, and what we have here is a mini nuke. Um, I'm not quite sure about the colour scheme on it, but it is alright. Um, I assume that this lights up at the top. 
uh, are those buttons at all? I thought this might have been buttons to press. Um, I suppose that's all right. I would never use it as an actual USB hub, uh, but it is something that might find its way onto my desk uh, just to sit there. Uh, I would like the little fusion core that they uh, apparently that they're, they're just back in stock now at Bethesda, the little mock up fusion cores. Uh, that would be a nice ornament for the desk. We have, of course, uh, a video from a couple of years ago uh, where we uh, unboxed the um, the like the, the one to one scale uh, mini nuke, uh, which has all the games inside of it. I'll put a link somewhere, either on screen or in the description below, uh, to that video, and you should go and check that one out because it was quite a cool little uh, set that there. Um, I can't actually see it from my desk, but uh, I don't know if I can reach it. Two seconds. Okay, I hope we do this one a little bit freehand, uh, just so I can get it all in frame. Um, that is the collector's edition that has um, or had the games inside. Uh, it has a little sound effect as well. Now, I think that would have been brilliant if they didn't put the cash machine sounds in the background. Uh, other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice collectible um, when you, for when you press the button. Uh, but you can have a better explore of that in uh, my other video. And this, of course, is the, the USB one here. So you see, the colour schemes don't quite match. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's still it's, it's reasonable, I suppose. Um, but still not worth uh, the value that they say. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to check out my previous video um, where you can listen to me ramble on about um, the state of Loot Crate and the uh, lengths that I had to go to complain. And plus as well, there'll also be the uh, copies of the emails that I uh, sent that are in that video as well. I would suggest that anyone who is a Firefly uh, Loot Crate collector, who is like me, collected them from day one, who even has the founder's pin, um, email and complain, uh, and just keep complaining and complaining until you get uh, your money back for the uh, crates that they've screwed us over for. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.